What's up guys, Ivan here and this is the Mercedes AMG CLA45S and this is the key fob to this vehicle, it's a black key fob AMG And this color is matte and this is called Designo Mountain Grey Magno which is only Magno color for this model of the CLA and here we have the top engine variant which is the 45S so this looks simply magnificent many people refer to this as to the baby GT four-door and we have a four-door here actually so we can compare the silhouette is similar the size is of course different but yeah we can call that many mini GT four-door overall it's uh, it has some similarities but overall obviously this is a wider car and is different but the wipe is the same we can see this car has power domes on the bonnet here, also the GT4 door has MG specific grill and the bumper is very similar with the A shape front apron the front lip is in high gloss black and here the intake on the left side is functional, on the right side is uh, not functional and in the middle is also functional the AMG specific grille looks fantastic on this car, it has horizontal bars so we can see front LED daylight running stripes this car also has the multi-beam LED which can cut out ongoing traffic etc they are the best lights and as far as I know right now uh, in the US you can have uh, only the 45 only not only but 45 non S variant uh, why I'm not uh, entirely sure so we can see this great shape this car can have also aerodynamic package this one is standard without the aero pack you have this lip here and diffuser with four exhaust pipes if you would have a MG uh, aero package then you would have also here additional diffuser and also this lip on the boot would be longer we have also here the night package the window trim is in black exhaust pipes are rounded they have MG logo on the top and we have four rounded exhaust pipes so personally I think this car looks really good with these exhaust pipes we have also these optional alloy wheels and we can actually check here the turboformatic plaza on the front fender and we can see here this paint in the sunshine so it has like a metallic flakes if you look closer but uh, overall it is uh, matte and you can see how the light changes and the sun bounces off this paint so on some parts this is uh, has like a darker and brighter shades so really looks uh, incredible so in this specification here we have a uh, matte black optional wheels I believe these are called cross spoke wheels and we have Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tire compound and the tire size is 255 35 19 inch the side skirt is also in black 
as the window trim but the handles here they remain chrome also the mirrors are black we have here the Gottlieb Daimler name on the windshield and the rear tires have 255 35 19 inch so they are the same size as the as the front no wheelchair wipers on the coupes also here is no because it would look uh, horrendous and these tail lamps they have also great design which is more like a horizontal and because this is now you can see here the separation if you press here the batch it can open like fully here and you have much wider now like 25 centimeters something like that lot wider opening here we have here this cover this is uh, like from the dealer and here is tire kit subwoofer and etc on the right side we can see the CLA 45S in the middle of Mercedes and on the left side AMG so if I press here we can check out the tire pressure and we can see also top speed to 70 168 miles per hour and these are the tire pressures you should use 98 or more gas 100 in ideal circumstances so yeah this is just magnificent this shape i really like this looks fantastic here is a gt4 door which is, looks even better or similarly better yeah it's uh yeah, design is subjective but they both look uh, incredible okay so let's open the bonnet so this car has a handcrafted engine from uh, a Falterbach and this is 2.0 liter M139 four cylinder engine so this one produces in the 45 variant 387 horsepower and in the 45s 421 horsepower and this car can spring from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour in only four seconds the torque is 500 newton meters and I showed you the top speed to 70 km per hour we have here torsion bar for additional rigidity here with the MG branding and we can see the turbocharger here as well so this car is inline four cylinder as you can see here four parts and AMG and here is a plaque of the engineer which handcrafted this particular engine and this engine is produced in the Foropo own factory which won the award for the best modernized modern factory in the world basically and it is in Falterbach home of the AMG the AMG HQ in uh, Germany we can also see the heat shield on the left side here and some sounds detoning also the engine cover has like a carbon decor there so the engine is actually turning it 180 degrees to the previous engine and that's uh, because it can be now moved as far as back uh, towards the cabin as possible and also uh, because this is the turbocharger closer to the cabin and exhaust manifold is actually in the front so uh, this is revolutionary for the AMG because they have never done this before also there are new piezo, piezo injectors nano slide technology so this car has also higher rpms so it's more like a naturally aspirated engine uh, this vehicle and that's uh, just wonderful if you hear sound noise that's because of the Volkswagen lorry this is live shooting we have also here a reservoir for the windshield wipers and another coolant so we can now close the bonnet here I also want to talk about the rear 
multi-clutch differential which is on the rear axle so thanks to that you can actually have a drift mode in this vehicle so you can engage the drift mode and then it will send more power to the rear axle but also between the left and the right wheel it will select which wheel needs more power and it can send 100% of the power uh, on that wheel and the result is that uh, the drifting with this car is super easy and uh, super fun so that's uh, yeah that's the that's a good result if you ask me <laughs> and overall this car is just uh, so nice from the exterior from the interior so from every from every aspect this car is uh, beautiful it's filled with the technology it has a handcrafted engine and actually four cylinders have similar sound to the V8 more than the six cylinders and uh, yeah actually when I'm here quickly I want to show you this is the CLA 45S Coupe and I also drove the 45S when I was here last time but in the shooting brake which is available only in some markets so it looks like that so it's like a more sportier looking estate basically and uh, power is the same etc so make sure you check out I did three videos driving POV style with this car the power is essentially the same as the coupe and also the handling would be the same maybe I don't know three four percent difference because of the rear but not a big difference so I just wanted to mention that I will drive the coupe as soon as it will be possible for that reason but you can check out that video and driving will, will be similar I'm sure maybe on the racetrack you would feel like the difference but uh, yeah not a huge difference so overall this is uh, a great car and what is also great is the interior of this car so this car has uh, AMG performance seats which are just uh, wonderful with integrated headrest you can see it there so these have more bolsters as you can see they are much thicker in the bolster area and also here in the seat area and they have also this like a paint line which looks better also integrated headrest So let's jump inside. I want to show you here this interior. So this is how the car looks from the rear. And no surprise, it looks incredible. So we have here controls for the seats, steering wheel, these 10.25 inch screens. And overall this is just uh, magnificent design and everything is top-notch with this vehicle and in some markets for example like in the UK you cannot have these seats with the 35 engine variant only with 45 okay so I'm in the back seat we have frameless doors these are tinted so for the privacy we have also ambient lighting here in the doors Burmester speaker so uh, the MG performance seats in, uh, are thinner actually in the rear part so you have uh, more space so now the seat is in the lowest position possible I can still put my feet under the seat and I have uh, enough space here actually so here for my left knee I have a lot of space we have also airbag here and here is also a lot of space so even if I would uh, put my legs like this I have still space here so that's uh, great and we have also a rear armrest with the cup holders and the armrest is quite wide so both of the people can put here their uh, arm 
And this is the rear seat with integrated headrest. And the rear seat offers also some support on the back and also here on the seat. We have an Isofix for child seats. And you can see here ambient lighting also here in the handle and also here in the in the foot area. And here we have also USB-C ports. And these are the vents for the rear. So this is how the car looks from the rear. And no surprise, it looks incredible. So we have here controls for the seats, steering wheel, these 10.25 inch screens. And overall this is just a magnificent design and everything is top notch with this vehicle. This is how it looks from the rear, so it looks very sporty for the rear passengers. So, so nice. We have handle here, if you are too scared, sitting in the rear. We have light, you can hang your jacket. Alright guys, so in the rear I have, a, cannot say I have like a lot of space. So I'm touching the ceiling with my uh, hair, not with my head but with my with my hair so I have like one centimeter maybe two centimeters because my haircut is two centimeters so around two centimeters that's what that's like a little bit less than one inch and this car is without the panorama panorama without the panoramic roof so essentially if I'm I'm 186 centimeters or six feet and between one and two inch I would say taller people than me would not be really comfortable here like uh, move a little bit forward me with my legs and then I, I have a more head space so I think this this could be doable for me but for total people probably not but if you buy this car then you are probably driving one maybe two people and maybe you can put you can put easily here the seats for kids and you can drive easily with your kids uh, in this car so that's kids kids will have uh, plenty of space here so that's uh, not issue at all so you have also kit safety lock so i cannot open here now the rear doors i'm trapped here so that's good for kids safety for me it's now it's not very good but you can open it i can open it here and let myself out So where is set the kit safety? It's here. So this toggle here the, the determines if you press it up, then the kit safe lock is functional. If you press it down, then it's not functional. And you can do that also, and you can engage it here also. So yeah, let me know what you think about this car. All right, guys. So that's it for this video with this amazing amazing CLA 45S so let me know what you think about this car comment below give this video a like subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell so guys that's it and I will see you tomorrow have a wonderful day